morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I'm Audrey Wiggins, and welcome to another webisode of the Audrey Wiggins Show. We have in the studio with us today Doug Patterson, president of Production Plus Productions, which is a licensed booking agency. He's also a licensed boxing official, and so he's here promoting um, his upcoming event. He has a boxer with us. We're going to meet her later and um, hear all about what's going on and success she's been having. This young lady here, we're <laughs> proud um, to have you here today. What's your name again? Asia. Asia. So we have Asia here, so we're going to hear more from her. And this is um, the king of the ring events. So Doug, let's just jump right into it. Tell us about a little bit, you know, the history of what you're doing. It'll take maybe, you know, 30 seconds or so, and um, let's introduce Asia. Well, you know, king of the ring is a tournament uh, elimination that is set up for people to be in a competition like uh, national competition, which should be the best. So challenges across the United States. Uh, right now we are in the Midwest region. And these fighters, if you haven't ever been to a national tournament on that level or a world title fight like you see on TV, this is the time you get a chance to do it. Okay. Uh, boxing industry has changed, uh, as everybody know, with the Merriweather fight. In fact, uh, Merriweather fought here in 1996 where he fought his last amateur fight. I officiated his semifinals before he turned pro. Wow. You got a lot of pros here and a turn champion, Aaron Williams, Sean Porter, Mickey Bay, Willie Nelson, Prentice Brewer, on and on, Fondra Ward and the females who became the world champion. And she lost her title a while ago. But we're building it up. Not only are we going to have King of the Ring, but down the line we're looking at Queen of the Ring. That's fantastic. And that's why we brought one of these female boxers here who's hungry to set that, set that stage. Okay. Right. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Well, Asia, tell us a little bit about yourself. What class do you box in, and um, and what got you into boxing? Uh, well, my name is Asia Smith, and um, what got me kind of into boxing is like my last year in high school. Well, I was still in high school, but mm -hmm. my last year, so um, I felt like it was nothing else to do. I um, used to play basketball all the time okay. for my high school, which was East High, and um, I'm like, okay, well, I'm always at the gym all the time, and so I see Kyle up there. And so I'm like, okay, look interesting. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I go to play basketball. Then one day I'm just like, you know what? Actually, I seen a speed bag in a hallway. Oh, okay. So with nobody in the gym, I go upstairs with nobody in the box gym. I seen the speed bag, so I start hitting it. You know, I just hitting it. I didn't know what I was doing. I was hitting it. So then next thing you know, I'm like, okay, you know what? I want to come. I want to box. So I went up wow. there and I started training. Actually, I just wanted to do the training, but then I saw myself getting good like a month or two in the training. People would come to the gym thinking I've been boxing for like a year or two or maybe more just by how good I look. Wow, so you're just a natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. So for um, so your basketball then you were probably just working out mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah, just working out. Okay. So what is your regimen like for working out then, Asia? Well, I like to like run. Okay. I, I really love running. Actually, what got me into running a lot was uh, my high school um, basketball coach. He wanted a cross country team. Mm -hmm. And so ever since then, I noticed myself being really good at just running long distance. And actually, I was like number one in the uh, city. So I love running. I feel like that would actually build my endurance up and get me more in shape. And as far as like working out in the gym, I love, um, I work on shadow boxing. Okay. Uh, I do more calisthenics. I do less weights, mm -hmm. but more calisthenics. I feel like with the weights, it will... I feel like when I don't really need to lift a lot of weight, so I just do more kind of steps than okay. weight lifting. But I guess I could probably but that's strengthening weight. too. As yeah, well. it's mm -hmm. basic. Yeah, basically. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, what's coming up for you in the future? Um, well, as far as like right now, you know, uh, I have a, I'm about to be soon a college graduate from okay. Tri C, awesome. and um, of course this month and also the May 23rd fight which I'm looking for a W. Okay. You know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now what are you studying at Tri-C? I'm studying to be a uh, psychologist, counseling. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. So Doug, um, you know we have a fight coming up and, and how did you end up um, working with Asia? Well for number one, uh, we see that the females are starting. The last fight show we had in February, mm -hmm. they really like the female boxers. And so we wanted to bring them back. They wanted to, uh, TV20, who's one of our sponsors here in Cleveland, wanted to put rec centers involved in the boxing. Okay. And the recreation center just so happened, Push, who's our matchmaker, came to me and said, you know, they like the girl boxers. So I was like, well, then let's do a female championship. So Asia's fighting a female championship against the lady that she 
box before on on that instant, she did not come out victorious. But since she did that, she said next time she's going to come out victorious. So now this is a challenge. And uh, we draw a lot of people to the female fights because they don't sit up there and waste time. They go right at it to we do that. She boxing our Golden Gloves thing uh, recently. Uh, we got the Golden Glove Nationals coming up in Las Vegas uh, okay. this year. Back uh, is coming up in uh, May, May, second week of May. Then you got your Junior Olympics and you got your PAL Nationals. The next year is the Olympic year, mm -hmm. so that's coming up. So everybody's into boxing, prime time boxing. But to see this young lady, the way she fought in the Golden Gloves against the other person, I haven't seen her fight with her, but I know the other person can box. And it's going to be pretty interesting. Okay. A lot of people want to come and see this. They've been talking. A lot of good energies. Yeah, great, energy. so great, great fighters. Wanna, in the you got the great so fighters yeah, that's, uh, coming from. That's going to make it exciting, man. Yeah, they're coming from Michigan. They're coming mm -hmm. from Chicago. They're coming from New York. They're coming from Pennsylvania. So they're coming here and they're challenging Cleveland. So on the level that they are now, one uh, good thing that we like to mention that all these fighters are open fighters. Open fighters mean they can go into advanced tournaments. So they have to fight 10 bouts or more. Okay. That means they can advance to the Olympics. They can advance to the Eastern Trials. They can advance to tournaments to make the Olympics. Okay. Because you have three levels. You got your sub novice, which is means that's the first fight, and you have your novice, which is under ten fights, and then you got your open. So your open is supposed to be the best. Okay. okay. Hopefully. <laughs> What's well, gonna be? We're gonna think positive, right, Adrian? Right, yeah, right. We're gonna think positive. positive. Well, how many fights? What um, what fight will this be for you? Number of fights. And this would be actually number eleven. Eleven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. So, um, is there any message that you want to give to um to young women, or you know, even you know the young guys or whatever, but uh, your um, your your female as far as wanting to get into, you know, to boxing or any of the other um you know fight sports. Um, well, to any female that may want to do um, boxing, I feel that, you know, if you really want to do it, you must have, like, the heart, you know, like, you know, I wouldn't tell you to box, to be honest, I wouldn't mm -hmm. suggest you to box, but, like, if you really want, because it's a contact sport, it's, you know, yeah. very brutal, and, you know, and you can get very injured into it, so I would say, you know, I would just do the training, okay. you know, um, if you really want to do it, have the heart train really hard and then you know take it from there if you want to take off with it like me i just want to do the training okay. and i'm like okay i want to compete i feel like i'm really doing pretty good so i want to like take off so you know but that's just me but yeah. if any other female want to do it you know mm -hmm. go ahead and do it because you know a lot of people you know look at females like eh, you know we can't do it but we can so yeah. if you want to do it go ahead and push yourself to do it absolutely thanks asia yeah. appreciate that um that pep talk that encouragement and good luck to you too thank awesome. you so, so, so i'm gonna break my hand <laughs> Into the city that, uh, the best in boxing, King of the Ring, is a series number three mm -hmm. that it leads into the competition. So if you ever want to see good competition with King of the Ring, you're going to be able to see, hopefully be Queen of the Ring, yes. the good competition, stuff that you wouldn't be able to see to go to a national tournament, which we're doing in Vegas. And King of the Ring is bringing it out. So if you want to see good competition with good attitudes, yes. most of the people are champions that are coming through here. So if you want to see that, May 23rd, you, you want tickets right now, 216-543-2903. You can call us and get tickets. Uh, it's set up like a pro match because the rules in amateur have changed similar to the pros. Because we haven't had Olympic gold medalists in a long time. The only Olympic gold medal was the female from Michigan. Right now, the rules is let them box. Right. And that's what we do. So, okay. okay so Doug, we've got the fight coming up on the twenty third. Where's it going to be held? Um, just give us the um, the details on that. It's going to be at Woods King National Guard Armory, which is forty three zero three Green Road in Highland Hills, Ohio. Okay. And you did give a number before where the tickets two one six five four three two nine zero three, and you can get your tickets. The reserve seats go pretty fast. And you know the ringside seats go pretty fast too. People want to get up there and they want to feel this fight. We use the pro ring. A lot of amateur boxing, they use the amateur ring. This will be a pro ring, so we're going to bring it. Uh, it will be live filming for TV20 with uh, sports announcement. Uh, Ronnie Duncan is coming all in from Washington, D.C. to do this. So awesome. It's going to be interesting. So if you ever want to be That's on TV, support. I want to see things happen and bring it up. Okay, thanks, Doug. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Don't miss it. 
Don't miss it. <laughs> Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Oh, see, he tried to crack my knuckle. <laughs> Did you hear that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. And thanks for tuning in. And, and make sure you know, do something that you like, that you're going to make an impact. If you want to be a fighter or any other type of, um, of sporting activity, whatever your heart desires, go after that goal. But make sure you've got to put the training in no matter what it is. Okay? So you go out. Let's make a difference. Thank you.